There is some big money in video games, and it's all on display at E3, that industry's biggest trade show. This year, the big topic of discussion isn't just the new games themselves, but also the technology behind them. Julia Borston has more from Los Angeles. Big name games are in focus here at E3, like highly anticipated Star Wars Battlefront, expected to sell well across platforms. But both Microsoft's Xbox and Sony's PlayStation 4 are highlighting exclusive deals to try to lure gamers. Microsoft's Xbox has Halo 5, Guardians, and Sony's PS4 promoted exclusive content for blockbuster franchises, including Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Microsoft announcing it will make older Xbox 360 games work on its new Xbox One by the holidays to help it catch up with Sony's PlayStation 4, which has sold about twice as many consoles. I think it's going to be a big deal. I think uh, we were on the edge of people who were waiting, and this will be the thing that will flip over. Sony talking up PS4 as a media hub, announcing its PlayStation View streaming TV service will soon allow customers to buy some individual channels rather than just bundled subscriptions. We understand that when people aren't playing games, they may be doing things like watching TV. So we want to be able to provide that opportunity for them across the PlayStation platform. Gaming's next frontier, virtual reality, expected to be a multi-billion dollar business. We still don't have price tags or launch dates for the headsets coming up from Oculus owned by Facebook or Sony's Morpheus, but those platforms are drawing big crowds here at E3. Sony showing off its Morpheus virtual reality headset with a multiplayer mode, also announcing a half dozen titles that work with the headset. Morpheus brings to, to video gaming kind of what the smartphone brought to the, the, the cell phone business. It's a complete step change. It's something entirely new. And Microsoft showcasing its HoloLens augmented reality goggles, projecting an interactive Minecraft game onto the world around you. Xbox also partnering with Facebook's Oculus Rift, here showcasing new hand controls. We've really focused on trying to make this an extension of your actual hand, uh, your arm, and make it really feel like this is your hand inside of VR, and hand presence is something that we really, really believe in. But some game makers here caution not to expect a virtual reality revolution overnight. Electronic Arts CEO says it'll be years, not months, before VR impacts EA's bottom line. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Julia Borston in Los Angeles.